inspiring so many people's hearts. Some stuff is arranged, Gruda, for his breakfast. Breakfast? Yes. Oh, okay. No, okay. no brunch. Oh. Okay. Why is that picture? It's my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Marge's affection is my breakfast. I'm 
I saw him about my life back in Los Angeles, California. Okay. And he's improving gradually. Still too long, he needs somebody to help him. So my Dandavat Pranam to all of you good devotees around the world. And this is me, Mahananda Das, at your service. And uh, this week we're starting, as usually, with a little news of Srila Govinda Maharaj's health and his activities. And that is that uh, this week he's been uh, basically in all week since we were last broadcasting on Sunday of last week. And uh, so he's not been out and about. Um, but he uh, has been meeting devotees albeit somewhat briefly when they're arriving and also being a transit station here at our Dum Dum Park Temple he's been also receiving devotees briefly just as they head off to their countries or to other places within India and uh, we've also had some surprise visitors I mean visitors who've come for the first time for many years um, I think very much the Srila Gurudev's disciples around the world they very much want to uh, come to have some darshan of his divine grace and he's here in Calcutta at our Dum Dum Park temple indeed his Dum Dum Park temple and uh, so devotees have come for some opportunity of uh, seeing him albeit briefly uh, Gurudev isn't giving darshans as such in the sense of speaking and talking with devotees um, but occasionally then he's able to uh, get a little energy to talk um, and hear some of the discussions too. This week, uh, Sri Janada Maharaj, he arrived from America along with Sanatani Devadasi who arrived coming around the world in a different direction, on a different route, and her daughter, Devaki, also here, Veera Chandra, who escorted Janada Maharaj to uh, Calcutta, and they've just come uh, of course, after attending for so long to Sripad uh, Siddhanti Maharaj, Sripad Bhakti Premik Siddhanti Maharaj, uh, who passed away recently after uh, a, a long illness, but he passed away in the care of the devotees in Sokal. And we've heard from them firsthand about how everything took place and how so sweetly and in a very relieved way uh, Sripad Siddhanti Maharaj left this world. Uh, to continue leaving from this body uh, to his next station in life which we know is certainly very good because Srila Govinda Maharaj himself has uh, said so many things about how fortunate he is Sri Patsidanti Maharaj uh, to have be to get the grace of Krishna the Krishna is finishing everything in this one lifetime for him and we know that Siddhanti Maharaj he got the direct personal attention and grace of Srila Bhakti Vranta Swami Prabhupada, of Srila Bhakti Rokok Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj, and of course from Srila Bhakti Sambha Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj. So he's in a very fortunate position and we in fact, of course, make a little prayer to him that he will remember us who are still here in our bodies and in this material environment. Uh, this week also others have been coming through from in fact all over the world this year is going to be again we can say the biggest Goro Punima ever as we speak already the pandals are being put up on top of the Seva Ashram beside Govindakund and on top of the men's house and the ladies house etc and from around the world we'll have hundreds of Western devotees and from India as always uh, many thousands will attend the program. The program will be, is uh, going to begin in 12 days time, the Parakrama, the Nabaribdam Parakrama, and those of you who are coming, please bring your own bedding, bed sheets, etc. It is a time when the temple cannot possibly provide thousands and thousands of bed sheets, mattresses, etc. So we all have to bear in mind the words of Srila Govinda Maharaj and Srila Sridhar Maharaj, it were to come to the temple in a mood of giving and self-sufficient as far as possible. And here you'll be nourished by the association of devotees, by prasadam and by the glorification of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 
and his parshads and devotees for Gauru